the first English teenager to receive bionic prosthetics, how the connection of neural networks will affect hyper-realistic animatronic robots. Spain has developed the first artificial intelligence model that manages social media and more. Chinese rover discovers peculiar polygons under the surface of Mars. These and other high-tech news in one video. Meet Tilly Lockie, the first English teenager to receive bionic prosthetics. Tilly was born in County Durham in the United Kingdom, had both hands amputated at the age of just 15 months due to a meningococcal infection. She became the first British teenager to receive a pair of 3D printed bionic hands. Now as a model and activist, Tilly travels the world raising awareness about meningitis, which almost claimed her life in childhood. The bionic hands are controlled by muscular sensors inside, allowing Tilly to manipulate her fingers. When I squeeze my muscles, the fingers bend, and they straighten when I relax them, describes Tilly how she operates her technological hands. Tilly notes that her bionic hands are unique in their ability to perform intricate movements, such as opening a jar or using cosmetic brushes. When she first attempted makeup, she faced challenges due to a lack of muscle memory on how to hold various objects. When I started putting my makeup tutorials on YouTube, people found it really impressive and they wanted to see more of how I do things, says Tilly. She emphasizes an important role of social media where followers discovered her amazing journey. The company Shinmei Kogyo, in collaboration with its research partner, introduced the six-legged mobile robot New Century Mobility Soul. Thanks to its unique appearance, it attracts attention wherever it appears. The hexapod system is convenient for navigating uneven terrains inaccessible to wheeled systems and is designed to operate in harsh conditions, such as disaster-stricken areas and the moon. In the future, it is envisioned that full-scale robots will be able to transport people. A demonstration of ascending and descending stairs with a height difference of about 10 centimeters demonstrated the agility and efficiency of the robot. Ruben Cruz, a designer and founder of the modeling agency The Clueless, has created a virtual mentee Aitana, who earns him thousands of euros each month. According to the designer and his clients, Aitana is devoid of the flaws often associated with live models. On average, Aitana earns 1,000 euros for advertising, recently becoming the face of the company BIG, which produces supplements for sports nutrition. Additionally, the 25-year-old pink-haired model from Barcelona uploads laundry photos to FanView, a platform similar to OnlyFans. In just a few months, she has gained over 121,000 followers on Instagram, with her photos garnering thousands of views and reactions. Aitana even receives personal messages from celebrities who often don't realize she's not a real person. On average, the model earns between 3,000 and 10,000 euros. Every week, the Clueless team holds meetings to create Aitana's life, deciding what she will do during the week, which establishments and events she will visit, and what photos will be uploaded to satisfy the curiosity of followers eager to know more about her. However, there are no wardrobe change photo shoots or behind-the-scenes glimpses into the model schedule. It's simply a collaboration of artificial intelligence and design experts using Photoshop to let the model spend her weekends, for example, in Madrid. Animatronics is the next step after computer graphics in the world of cinema. Animatronics is a mechanism that imitates the movements and expressions of a living being. This technology is applied in the entertainment industry in cases where the character either does not exist or the intended action is too risky to use real actors or animals. The internal structure of these living machines is similar to that of humans. Frames made of stainless steel and aluminum alloys instead of a skeleton, hinge joints serving as joints. Mechanical drives like muscles transmit movement to the limbs and electrical Electrical wires act as the nervous system, connecting the parts of the robots into a cohesive organism. The top of the metallic interior is covered with a casing made of plastic materials. For finishing, foam latex or silicone is used, creating skin with hair, feathers, and fangs handled by makeup artists. Machines are most often powered by pneumatics, compressed air, electric means, and in some cases, hydraulics, oil under pressure. Animator puppeteers control the mechanical creature, ensuring the realism of the robot's movements and synchronizing its activities with sound, and other effects. Essentially, animatronics is a set of technologies and methods for creating special effects involving moving parts of the human or animal body, extraterrestrial beings, or zombies, anything that can be alive in cinema. Sometimes it's hard to believe that the creature on screen is actually a robot. It turns out that such technologies are still used in blockbuster filming. 
Computer graphics has not yet replaced the big old school methods. These animatronic characters can speak, move their eyebrows and ears, and in general, change their facial expressions. To create an animatronic character, they first sculpt its life-size sculpture. If only the head is needed, they sculpt only the head. Then this sculpture is used to create a mold needed to cast the character's skin. During the molding process, the original sculpture, so lovingly made by the sculptor and adorned with all necessary details, is usually destroyed. Latex is then poured into the mold, a material that will mimic the skin or fur of the creature. Once the latex hardens, it is taken out, painted in hair or individual strands. Eyebrows or mustaches are added on top, and the external skin of the character is ready. Masters also create a skuller skeleton for the monster inside or onto which various servos pneumatics, or hydraulic motors and cables that will control the soft latex skin. All this mechanism can be controlled manually or remotely. Specialists have endowed the robots with the ability to frown, smile, or raise their eyebrows, achieved through the movement of mechanical components beneath silicone masks. Naturally in the future, creators of animatronic beings plan to incorporate artificial intelligence to enable them to react to their surroundings, perform more complex tasks, and resemble us even more. A day before the official premiere of the Cybertruck, Tesla's most significant event in the past four years, Elon Musk gave a one-and-a-half-hour interview at the DealBook 2023 Summit. During the interview, the entrepreneur shared personal insights, told advertisers to go fuck themselves, offered advice on reading philosophical works, but barely touched on his electric pickup, eagerly awaited by millions of fans since 2019. However, he couldn't ignore the situation surrounding OpenAI. Musk had previously expressed concerns about the irresponsible development and use of artificial intelligence in general. Addressing the developments at OpenAI, Musk admitted to being quite concerned that they found some dangerous element in artificial intelligence. Musk is troubled by the speed at which the company is advancing innovations in artificial intelligence. He predicted that generative artificial intelligence technology could reach a problem-solving level comparable to the human brain, known as artificial general intelligence, in less than three years. The Chinese Mars rover Zhurong has discovered peculiar polygons under the surface of Mars. Equipped with a ground-penetrating radar capable of penetrating up to 100 meters below the planet's surface, the rover captured images of the landing site in the Utopia Planitia, revealing the presence of polygonal features extending approximately 35 meters along the rover's path. The sizes of these features range from a few centimeters to several meters. Scientists believe they may have formed due to cycles of freezing and thawing billions of years ago, but could also have volcanic origins. The Jurong rover landed on Mars in May 2021 and began its main scientific mission to study the topography and geology of the Martian surface. After transmitting 940 gigabytes of valuable data to scientists, it went into dormant state ahead of the Martian winter, but unfortunately, it did not wake up after hibernation. If you found something new and interesting in this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also, check out our previous videos. See you later.